Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage, filthy mouth, so viewer discretion is advised, but if you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our Tom fondly. Happy New Year, my little lambs. I know, this is Friday. I know. <laughs> so normally we have these videos on Monday, but we decided, no, we're gonna do them on Fridays. That's it. It, it's over, no more Mondays, who cares? We're here for Friday. Because these videos should be celebrated into the weekend. If you have never seen me makeup nonsense bingo before, baby, you are in for a treat. This idea was crafted and created by the wonderful, the beautiful, the Emily, to my Emily, Emily. Imperfectly am. <laughs> Basically, this is a new makeup release video, except we take all the images, throw them in a folder, use a random number generator, bloopity blop blop. We call on the products as if we were playing bingo and wuzzle wuzzle. <laughs> Wuzzle wuzzle, here we are. Besides Emily and myself, we also have Audra from Audra at Home, my little delicious baby cheesecake. What the f Love, love, love Audra to pieces. Please go check out Imperfectly M and Audra at Home and tell them I said hi. And of course, if you ever wanna do this video yourself, everything you need to know will be linked down in the description box below. That's pretty much all I got. All right, <laughs> here are the makeup products that I may or may not be talking about today. Here's my bingo card. And without further motherfucking ado, welcome to New Makeup Nonsense Bingo. Cheers, y'all. Um, so you're probably saying to yourself, <laughs> Where's your cocktail? And rightfully so, I don't have one, okay? New year, new me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> totally kidding. I'm just lazy. Didn't want to go to the Publix liquor store, so I was like, you know what? Let's just let's just make things spicy and just take an edible and just see where we go. I have about 10 to 15 minutes before it really starts to kick in and mess with my motor skill. <laughs> so don't mind me for the rest of the video. I'm probably just gonna be like this. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a good time for all. Also, I hope you appreciate that I'm literally giving you 2003 Teresa because the older I get, the more I start dressing like a high schooler from 2003. <laughs> so I'm giving you like the full fantasy. I don't know what I'm saying. Also, um, I was gonna say something, but then I completely forgot. Maybe it's kicking in much sooner than I realized. <laughs> what are we doing 
here. <laughs> Let's disband. It's nice outside. Let's go play. Let's talk about some makeup. Oh, I don't have my glasses. <sighs> Who needs to read, right? Who needs to read? I need to read, girl. I need to read, girl. What am I even saying, right? Oh my God, that scared the hell out of me. I had TikTok open and I think it looked like a possessed Mary Kate Olsen. <gasps> that was terrifying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my god, you know what it was? It was that stupid doll movie that's coming out. <laughs> Megan. Oh my god. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I have to go see it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay. All right, let me just open up Instagram. No, ah, ah, okay. <sighs> I apologize in advance. <laughs> I just apologize. So let's see, what is the first thing that we are going to pull today? Of course, it's something that I already bought because I am a monster and I just wanted to see if this is good or not. So we have a new thing from Urban Decay. I know, listen, listen. I really loved their last palette and I really loved the Vice lipsticks and maybe I was just feeling some type of way, but I was like, you know what? All of this sounds good. Every time I've tried like an Urban Decay complexion product, it's always been very matte, very drying, not great. So when I read the claims of this one, it just sounds amazing. So this is the Quickie, which I hate the name. It's fucking stupid. Uh, 24 hour multi-use hydrating full coverage concealer. A multi-use one swipe full coverage concealer for on the go that gives you a natural skin like finish for up to 24 hours. Okay, like I guess I'm gonna be going to like burning man with this, but all right. Helps to minimize the look of dark eye circles, acne blemishes, hyperpigmentation, discoloration, Oh no, I added that word. Discoloration, not zation. Mm -hmm. Redness. <laughs> I should have read this, ew. A waterproof and lightweight formula with a matte finish. Why hydrating a matte? That's not the same. They are two different things. They are two different things. Oh, is this gonna be bad? No. Has a doe foot applicator for targeting and precision and a buffing brush. $33 comes in 24 shades. The shade range is kind of funky and chunky. It looks like there's a little bit for everyone. So I noticed, which was kind of weird, that it was only available in Nordstrom. Can't find it anywhere else. Don't know why that is. So I was like, ooh, okay. Um, it's kind of like a secret lover situation. So I'm expecting the worst now. <laughs> I didn't know that it was gonna be like a matte finish. I saw hydrating and maybe that's my problem. In 2023, I need to learn how to read to avoid these classic pitfalls. But what interests me though, is that it's kind of like this really weird crossover of like a Clinique product. Remember like that weird doe foot thingy? It kind of reminds me a little bit of that, but then you kind of have like this weird like buffer thing. I'm not expecting anything. If it works, that's great. But the other thing though too I find that if it doesn't work for under my eyes it works for the rest of my face so I'm kind of hoping that okay if it does not work under my eyes at least the rest of my face will look wonderful so fingers crossed that it works out or whatever but now I'm less excited about it oh that sucks sucks asshole oh man okay so God damn it. All right. Okay. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. We're going to figure this out. Also, it had some heavy ass claims. There's one of the pictures that actually shows covering up a full tattoo. I don't know if I believe that. I think the only brand that does that well is Dermablend. Dermablend, that shit covers up everything. If you want a new face, get Dermablend. It will literally just make you a paint swatch and you can draw your own fucking features on. So I am like about the fact that it can actually cover a tattoo. But we're gonna try, we're gonna see how it goes. If I'm gonna guess now, I'm so salty. If I'm gonna guess now, <laughs> I'm gonna say that it's probably gonna have close to full coverage, but it's not gonna be that full. It's gonna be like high medium. High medium, maybe like baby full coverage. Or this could be completely amazing and blow me out of the water. And then I'll have to bow down to Urban Decay for the rest of 2023. So we shall see. But anyway, we're gonna call this, I already bought it. Cause I already bought it. I already bought it. Next. Okay, I'm kind of, um, this is another thing I already bought and I'm very embarrassed by it, <laughs> but hear me out. So Too Faced, oh Too Faced came out with the Pinker Times Ahead collection, okay? When I saw it, I was like, ooh, the blushes, okay. But then I was like, the palette, meh, the highlighter, meh, whatever. Everything else that comes along with it, meh. I wasn't into it. And then, <laughs> And then I had one too many cocktails at brunch, okay? And I was feeling good. I was feeling good, I was feeling right, and I took my happy ass <laughs> to Ulta, and I was like, you know what? You know what? I think I wanna get this. I kind of fell in love with it in the store to the point where Alex was like, 
either you're gonna buy that or marry it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was like, I want this so much. It was bad. So then I was like, you know what? I have some Ulta points. Not mad about that. Let's just get it. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I really want the blushes still. I want them. I can't tell you why. I just, they're colors I already have. I know that. But there's just something about it that is kind of like icky, adorably cute. And maybe I'm just getting older and I just want to hold on to my youth that much more. But I just want them. I just really want them. And there's actually, you know what? Come to think of it, no, I have those colors. Okay. <laughs> want to try it though. I still want to try it. But unfortunately, they don't sell these in store. The only thing they had was the Pinker Times Ahead palette. And this is what she looks like. Oh, she is fine. You know what? I regret nothing. She is still cute as fuck. I made a horrible mistake. <laughs> I don't remember swatching like this in the store. I was really drunk though. Ugh. Okay, 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 okay. What I'm gonna do on Monday is I'm going to be trying new makeup. I will feature this palette along with some other things that I picked up. Like I picked up the NYX Blur thing because I was like, I haven't had NYX in a while and I always talk shit about them. Let me try one of their products. I was going through something clearly. So I have like a couple of things that I picked up from Ulta. So I will include that in a video on Monday. All I can say is that it was a drunk purchase. It's on my bingo square and I'm gonna mark it as such. <laughs> No judgments. <laughs> but seriously though, it's a lot prettier in person than it is online. I will say that. And if I ever do see the blushes in store, I will totally pick them up. And low-key, if they actually even did have the highlighter, I probably would have picked that up too. Who am I kidding? I am a glutton for punishment, clearly. Oh, I really like those blushes. Okay, maybe the highlighter, not so much. And also too, with the palette, I mean, it is kind of like a basic -y bitch kind of pinky palette. Maybe a little bit more on like the colorful side of like the basic bitch spectrum, but I don't regret anything. I was having a moment. I was having a moment. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna call this Drunk Me Did Buy This. We'll find out on Monday if, um, if it was a huge mistake or not. Stay tuned, next. Okay, seriously, I feel like I'm being seen today and it's kind of ridiculous. But here's another thing that I picked up. And I picked it up because I thought it was the cutest thing ever. <laughs> And it's from Tarte. Uh, everyone's favorite basic bitch makeup company. So this is the Sweet Tarte Cravings eyeshadow palette. And I feel like this is the first time where something like this was done right. Now ColourPop totally has created a very similar palette to this, but didn't have this look and feel. And I feel like that this is probably something that Too Faced wishes that they can pull off, but they can't quite do it. So instead we get shit like this and not stuff like this, okay? I saw this and I thought to myself, you know, I really, really, really enjoyed that Maneater palette that came out last year. And if the quality is the same, I'm fucking all set. Plus, I don't know, I just, I, I just love it. I love the pan embossings. I think this is so cute. I feel like this is definitely perfect for Valentine's Day. Is it released a little bit early in January? It doesn't really say that it's for Valentine's Day, but it kind of feels like it should be. In any case, I just love this whole concept and I think it's really adorable. I think they did this right. And normally, when I see pan designs that are not uniform, I'm I'm like, oh, fuck that shit. No, I actually love this because I think this is done right. Very rarely do I feel like, you know, anybody ever, 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 ever applauds Tarte for, you know, anything. <laughs> And rightfully so, they're still a weird company. Um, but I have to say like, this is actually pretty cute. So um, expect a review of, of it, obviously, whenever the hell it shows up to my door. But okay, I feel like really exposed today. <laughs> I feel really exposed. Oh God. New year, new me, right? Same old clown bullshit behavior. Hmm. That almost went all over my face. Oh, I got too cocky with that one. <laughs> okay, anyway. All right, so we're gonna call this Pretty Embossing Basic Makeup. I should call it an Ann palette, but we're gonna call it Pretty Embossing Basic Makeup. Because Tarte, even though as much as I love that Man Eater palette, it's still pretty fucking basic. By the way, I didn't mention the price. It's a nine pan palette that has warm taupe and bronze shades, shit that you already have, right? And matte and shimmer finishes for $32. I think for the price point, I'm super excited for this one. I think it's gonna be adorable. Okay, anyway, pretty embossing basic makeup. Next. This is hilarious um, because I was just talking shit about them. But if you haven't seen my videos of brands that I just plum forgot about, dumb plum forgot about, is that even a thing, dumb plum? I feel like that is. Anyway, I plum forgot about them. Why do I keep saying it? But it sounds so natural. Anyway, if you haven't seen that video, it's a collab I did with Makeup Just For Fun, my ColourPop queen. 
definitely go check out that video. It was a lot of fun to do. But the first products that I talked about, I called them the Lauras, and it was Laura Geller and Laura Marseille. And a lot of people were like, yo, first of all, stop talking shit about Laura Geller because like her makeup is amazing. And listen, I'm happy that it worked out for you. It just, you know, whatever. It, it just wasn't that special to me. But who cares, right? That's just my opinion. That said though, um, this is my channel, so I don't give a shit. <laughs> I just find it really funny that I was literally talking shit about Laura Mercier and then like here this bitch comes up. She is going to be putting out a real flawless weightless perfecting foundation. I don't have any more information other than this post. It's full coverage. Of course it's just showing one shade, right? Because that would be pretty fucking wild if this was the whole shade range. But I believe due to the comments in the post, but ba 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 For anyone concerned about the shade range, I read on another account that this is just one shade in the photo and that they'll release the whole range soon. Okay, okay. Cool. So um, obviously we can't say it's a shitty complexion product or anything like that because we don't know the range. But listen, I kind of feel like just for good measures, right? Because I talk so much shit, I should atone and per well, depending on actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop making heavy claims, Teresa. Depending on what exactly this foundation is, because if it's like a matte coverage foundation, no, bleh, I don't want it. But if it's a hydrating foundation, I say, why not try it? Let me see if maybe Maybe the brand will shut me up. <laughs> Let me see if maybe what I've been spewing is utter garbage, which it probably is. But um, I'm kind of curious though. And also I have to say their packaging, I feel like is a little bit elevated, kind of like um, like a baby Tom Ford almost. I'm intrigued, I'm interested. I kind of want to know a little bit about them, but I'm happy to see that they're alive and kicking in the new year. <laughs> new year, new you, Laura. So um, I'm excited to see what this is. Oh, you know what we should do? This is something that we're gonna buy for science. Yes, we're gonna buy this for science. Burr, 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 burr. I don't know. <laughs> you would think I've played this game before. <laughs> oh, dear Lord me. So anyway, I can't wait to hear more information about this. And um, yeah, let's actually, hold on, hold on. Nope, it just says weightless perfecting foundation. That doesn't really mean anything. Okay. <laughs> Who fucking knows what this is? I'm excited to try it. Let's get disappointed together, y'all. All right, let's get disappointed together. Yeah, so we're gonna buy this shit for science and we're gonna test this motherfucker out. Next. Oh, okay. Ooh, hot topic here. Ooh. All right. So we have an indie brand that we're going to talk about today. And this is the Touch of Glam Beauty Palette, not your basic batch. I want to say bitch so badly. Not your basic batch palette. Now, here is the deal about this one. I think when I first initially saw it, I was like, how much? <laughs> so for like a nine pan multi-chrome palette, it was $175. And a lot of people on Instagram were like, hey, uh, how much is this? <laughs> like, why is it so high priced? I have never seen, in my personal opinion, an indie brand ever price their stuff that high before. So um, I was even taken back by it. But then there was like this whole thing, like, oh, if you use a code, then you can get 15% off. And it was like slightly cheaper. It still felt really fucking high, okay? If we're gonna be honest, it still felt really fucking high. And considering what you're getting. Now, I have tried other shadows from this brand and I, I like them. I think they're good. I've never tried any kind of multi-chrome from them, but just based off of swatches, these are not the multi-chromes for me. And that's okay. Not everything created is going to be meant for everybody. And the rationale for that, all right, I love how I'm trying to sound smart when I am I literally on fucking planet Mars right now. The rationale for that is that I don't like flaky shadows. I'm not a fan of them. I know a lot of people love texture and they're into that fucking thing and that is great for them but being that my lid spice my, my lid spice my lid spice is kind of small you don't see like avant-garde textures <laughs> you don't see any of that shit on my landscape now if i had a big old eyeball right like my husband for example i would deck the shit out of fucking sparkles and and flakies and all kinds of shit because you'd be able to see that stuff and it would look really cool but as someone who has hooded eyes I just, I don't see the appeal of them. If anything, I find it to be messy. There's not a cool effect on my face. And then when I start looking at the swatches, besides the texture, some of the colors kind of look the same. So I'm like, all right, how much am I paying for for something that kind of looks eerily similar, some of them? <sighs> Now, I totally get that this is a handmade product, right? Unlike some other brands that have like a manufacturer or they get their stuff from China or whatever the case may be is, right? The one way I understand like why it's a little bit higher because the fact that it is handmade, but 
I still think it's kind of high. Now, fast forward to today, the price dropped down to where it's $160. However, if you do use a code, which they're very upfront about, hey, you can either use this code or an influencer code or whatever, and then it comes down to $136. While still, yes, very high, it's a much better price tag than $175. I think the only palette, and I still, I didn't even fucking pay $175 for, was the Viseart, the Grand Pro 3. I got that shit, I think even for 30% off or something like that like so I mean and I think that's normally priced 175 and when I got it was it 50% off I got a really good fucking deal for that one but that's probably my most expensive palette I would say other than like Pat McGrath and stuff like that also too I'm like reading in the comments too apparently there's some arguments that price wise it makes sense because of like that's how much handmade shadows are okay like whatever at this point right the point is i'm happy that it went from 175 to 136 i feel like that is just a much more easier pill to swallow the other thing i've noticed that people were kind of complaining about too was some of the name choices were like either misspelled or missing punctuation and stuff like that which i mean that's like another kind of a question too like for that amount of money right that you're spending, do you kind of want something to be like super perfect? But on the other side of the coin, the brand mentioned that it was intentional how things were spelled and da da da. da. So at the end of the day, it comes down to what are you okay with? You know, and again, everything is not for everyone and that's fine. So for me, this is something that I'm not gonna pick up, whatever, packaging aside, it's just a formula that I'm not interested in. And for that price point and kind of seeing the swatches of stuff, a few of them look eerily the same. So it's like, eh, I don't really see a big enough difference. So like, for example, like an, another palette, I'm just trying to think of like multi-chromes, like a Danessa Myricks palette, for example. That $125 palette, to me, I feel like that one's worth the price point because at least the shades are different because <laughs> I feel like the shades also have a bigger range. So that's kind of like my reasoning for why I don't want to pick it up. Um, but it is very interesting though to see kind of just like the discourse of like what's been going on on various posts about like what people want to pay for and so forth and so on. I am trying to make this as intelligent. <laughs> without realizing I sound like a fucking idiot. <laughs> so I hope that made sense. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna call this I'd rather not because I'd rather not spend $160, $136 on this because it's just not for me. And that's fine. But if you did pick it up though, I would love to hear from you. And I would love to know what your thoughts are on this palette. I would love to know what a consumer of this palette uh, thinks about it. So anyway, feel free to spread your solutions on me. Spread your wisdom on me. Spread your wisdom on me. We're all gonna have to sit in that for a minute. Next. The next product I wanna talk about is from JCat Beauty and these are the You Glow Girl Baked Highlighters. They're available right now in Ulta Beauty for $5.99 a piece. And these just remind me of like, if Physician's Formula and Huda Beauty had a baby. <laughs> That's exactly what these look like, and I'm not mad at it. I think they're pretty fucking cute. I was also on the hunt for this in Ulta, couldn't find them, so I think this might be like an online order thing, which kinda suck. which kinda sucks. Kinda sucks. I think these are really cute. I don't see any swatches, so I can't say if they're pigmented or not, but um, I don't know, they just kind of remind me of Physician's Formula <laughs> and uh, Huda Beauty, and I'm not mad at it. I don't really have anything else funny to say about it other than I kind of want it, and next time I place an Ulta order, I'll probably pick one of these up. Yeah, if anything, I guess I can call them major copycat vibes. It feels like a copycat, pan embossing wise, but that's pretty much it. All right, next. So the next product I want to talk about is from our Lord and Savior Colourpop. Welcome back, Daddy. I've missed you. Which, by the way, they turned back my uh, code on. So if you ever were interested in wanting to try anything from Colourpop, you can save $5 off with the code... <laughs> garbage five. I was like, thanks dad. Thank you. I love you. Um, anyway, so that said, um, y'all know I am on ColourPop's PR list and I honestly have been kind of low-key loving some of their latest collections. Like the It's a Small World. I know, I don't quite get it myself, but that one, the Aurora Struck palette was great. The little light sticks had been fun. Uh, but when I saw this collection, number one, I have no idea what the fuck the Winx Club is or Winx inspired or whatever this, I don't know what that is. And then I had to Google it. And then I realized it came on around the same time that I went to college. So it kind of makes sense why I, I don't know anything about it. Uh, but essentially this is being launched on the 5th, which you'll see this video on the 6th. So, okay. 
<laughs> but I have been requested to do a review on it. Some people wanted to know what it's like. Plus there's gemstones. Might as well put those motherfuckers on my face. So when I do get them, of course, I will be reviewing it. But in this collection, you have uh, Just Like Magic's magic magics whatever 15 pan palette that looks kind of cute and dare i say dare i say is that a fucking multi-chrome in that bitch or like a duochrome i'm confused but it looks really fucking cool and i don't see any uh maybe dominoes of pressed glitter motherfucker but that rising tide shade that looks really good that looks fun anyway i oh i think there's like a couple of either duochrome yeah they have to be duochromes i don't know them to ever make a multi-chrome i think if they ever do and if it's good oh bitch that's when the heavens will literally open up and rain down hell. <laughs> I predicted Armageddon. Oh my God, it's going to happen this year. Everybody get right with yourself and whatever's up above us. <laughs> Like, just, just get right, okay? Oh my god, I feel like a multi is coming. I don't know shit. I don't know anything. I'm just speculating. Oh my god, it might be coming. <gasps> oh my god, this is kind of low-key exciting, but also terrifying at the same time. Anyway, oh my god, okay, 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 fine. Anyway, so you also get ultra glossy lips. You get some light sticks, which I'm excited about because I really do like their light sticks. You get an obsessed body glitter gel. Sounds disgusting and terrible. I don't want anything to do with that. And then you have individual crystal face jewels, which I mean, uh, I can't wait to put those all over Alex's face. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think packaging wise, it's pretty cute. I just have no idea what the hell these lovely ladies are. I, I just don't know. I'm going to have to Google more stuff about them because I just, I don't understand the lore of, or anything like that, but I love the overall theme and I actually have to say that for once I feel like the palette's not a neutral palette with a pop of color. This feels like a very fun rainbow palette and I can see why people would be interested in picking this up because it doesn't feel like a normal rainbow palette that you would see. I definitely think the introduction of duochromes in it makes it more interesting than some ColourPop palettes that have come out as of recent. So I'm excited to try this. I really am. I can't wait. Listen, daddy, we are on to a good motherfucking start for January. If you keep up this energy and you give us home runs, you're going to be the best daddy ever. <laughs> No, I'm really excited. I kind of hope that this is going to be good. <laughs> Fingers crossed. We'll see how it goes. But again, any hoosies, I'm excited to see what good old daddy's up to. Don't disappoint me. Next. Okay, I really love this and I think it's really, really cute. No surprise that we are now being inundated up the wazoo, up the wazoo, oh, I'm adorable. Um, <laughs> with a lot of Lunar New Year makeup and packaging and bloopity blop blop and all that good stuff. And um, the one that I have to say I feel like is done right is from Sawasu. So my friends that are a year of the rabbit, Sulwasu is coming out with their Lunar New Year Anti-Aging First Care Activating Serum, which by the way, it wasn't bad. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. Like, I don't know if I would go out of my way to repurchase it, kind of think of it. Did I really see any differences? I think it was just an okay product. Was it an okay product if I didn't really see anything? These are the internal struggles. Wow. <laughs> Hold on, take two. These are the internal struggles that I'm having clearly <laughs> about this product. Who cares, right? Whatever. I kind of almost want to pick it up just because of how adorable the packaging is. But anyway, so this is a post cleanse serum essence to visibly hydrate, brighten, and firm your skin while boosting absorption of the skincare products that follow it. Like I said, I didn't really notice a difference when using it. It didn't really add or take away. It was just like a product that was there. But when I see these adorable little rabbits on it, it makes me question everything everything I just said and want to give them another chance. <laughs> <laughs> Which is so stupid. It's so stupid. But I will definitely say out of all the Lunar New Year stuff that has come out, because I know Mama Pat McGrath has come out with some shit. NARS has. Laura Mercier, of course Laura Mercier has. So forth and so on. A lot of the packaging is kind of okay. Pat McGrath actually, it's just okay. The carton looks better than the actual fucking compact. But anyway, I feel like Sulwasu is the one brand that just really just did it nice. I don't know. Like it's just so delicate and beautiful. I really love it. I think it's so fucking pretty. Um, I kind I kind of just want the bottle. <laughs> I want the box and the bottle. I don't give a shit about the product. I just want to display it on uh, my vanity. Like that's really what I want for it. So yeah, maybe I'll just print out a picture. It'll be the same fucking thing. <laughs> but this is cute though. This is cute. I feel like again, done right. $150. <laughs> Fuck out of here. All right. <laughs> no, thank you. Mm. Again, I want to like Selwasu more. It just mm, didn't really do anything for me. 
And that's how the cookie crumbles. Anyway, so we're gonna call this, we actually have a new square on our bingo card called We Can't Escape the Holiday Makeup. This is pretty much catch-all for all the fucking holiday makeup that'll be coming out throughout the course of the year because there's not a day that goes by there where something doesn't get announced where it's for a specific holiday. So celebrate in Lunar New Year. All right, anyway, <laughs> next. <laughs> I just did a review on this product and if you want to see it I'll put it in the corner. Okay so NARS, baby NARS, came out with the orgasm collection which ironically enough because of all the demonetizations lately um, I couldn't actually call it that because my channel is just so fucked. <laughs> so I had to call it the spring collection because that's essentially what it is. <sighs> I know. I'll talk more about that next week. It's It's been real fun. So let's enjoy these last few moments now um, before shit gets really real and annoying. It's gonna suck. But anyway, I digress. Um, so yeah, so this is the, obviously the new orgasm collection inspired by the best-selling orgasm on um, a limited edition pink packaging. So there was a blush quad, an eyeshadow palette, and a cream and a cream blush. I really enjoyed it. I think the best thing is the blush palette. You need it. I, I don't have too many of their face palettes. So for me, it's new. But from the comments that I was receiving. Apparently it's in one of those products that, you know, everything old is new again. It's a product that just never dies. And clearly it's so cringe, it's disgusting, but here I am uh, like a fool buying it and I regret nothing because I actually really, really like the face palette. I think it's fun. Especially if you're a fair skin monster like myself. I will link my review in the corner. Go check it out if you feel so inclined. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a product that will never die. And I suspect that this is not going to be the last time that we see something with the orgasm name tied to it. I'm pretty sure every quarter of this year we're going to have some sort of new orgasm collection, which in that case I am here for the motherfucking ride because I kind of want to see um, if anything does change at all. Probably not. <laughs> it's probably not. Uh, so with that said, we're going to call this a product that will never die because it's going to outlive us all next to the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk, which ironically enough is what actually no that this is not pillow talk. This is Gucci blaze of noon. I don't even know where I'm at right now. <laughs> Who am I? Anyway, <laughs> this is going to outlive us all next to the Twinkies and the cockroaches and listen, I'm just here for it. So whatever. Next. The next product I want to talk about is, oh baby, Odin's eye is actually so funny. It's what I have on my face today. So Odin's eye uh, came out with the Jewel Shine Collection and there are so many things. <laughs> there are so many things. So there's 42 single eyeshadows. Yes, I have them all. The reason why I haven't done any swatches or anything like that is that my arms have been really bad with eczema lately. So I can do like a couple of swatches and then my arms get fucked up and then it hurts and then they kind of put shimmers on top of that not cute friend not cute so it's actually funny I have them sitting right here uh, next to me because like I said I put them on my face I made basically a little green palette for myself and then I made a little purple palette for myself you're so cute so each shadow now there's a difference, okay? So you have the multi-chrome shadow is about $14.90 a piece, which I feel like is pretty fair. I feel like all multi-chromes from indie brands, anywhere from like $13 to like $17, if not $20. So I kind of feel like kind of averagely priced, right? Then you have your shimmer eyeshadows, which are $6.90. Now there are 30 shimmers and there are 12 multi-chromes in this collection. Now these palettes, are actually $6.90. They're fucking great. And I'm actually going to pick up another one today because I kind of like having all of them be in this kind of packaging. I only have two of them. So I had to utilize this other palette to put the rest of the collection here. I know I'm going to be picking up <laughs> a couple more of these palettes because I just, I kind of just want them all to be together. I want them all to be together. So uh, that said, there also is a single eyeshadow container too. I'll be honest. I have no idea where the fuck it is. It's kind of lost on me because I don't like single eyeshadows like that. I kind of prefer them to be in a palette. That said, I like these. They're fun. They're fun. They're exactly what you think they're going to be. They have really good, sorry, they're exactly what you think they're going to be. They have beautiful pigmentation. I haven't noticed any issues with wear. They're very comparable to their other formulas, especially the shimmers. They're multi-chromes. I'm, listen, I'm not going to bullshit you. Are they my favorite multi-chromes? No. My favorite multi-chromes, I feel like, if I had to pick, if I legitimately, like, end of the world, like, we're all going to eat it. <laughs> What's your favorite multi-chrome ever? I'll say clean. 
Cleona. Cleona, I think, is like the S tier of multi-chromes. I'm very happy to have found other brands too that come kind of come close to it, but truly at the end of the day, I think Cleona reigns supreme. But I think for what they have, I think they're very good. My favorite things are their shimmers. There is a red in here that is just so good. I don't have a lot of good reds like this, and this is everything. This is such a beautiful metallic red. Oh my god. I say if you were interested in wanting to pick anything up, the shimmer formula is fucking it's top notch. It's fantastic. So I kind of got like a little swatch crazy. <laughs> I was like, oh, because I kind of wanted to see actually the difference between the silver that they have versus the silver that is from the Teresa is Lethal palette. My silver is definitely darker. It's more Tin Man Dick, <laughs> while the other one is more like a Diet Coke can. So that's like the biggest difference in terms of color if you're looking for silvers. Mine is darker Tin Man Dick style. <laughs> if that means anything to you. Now I feel like I can't stop touching them. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, let's, let's watch my back and my hand together. Yeah, like, I know you can't see shit. I'm so sorry. Some of them are just so fucking pretty. Anyway, so if you are interested in picking them up, they are available. And uh, yes, I am affiliated with the brand. If you're ever interested in wanting to pick up something, use the code whew, garbage. You can save 10% off your order. Now, completely full disclosure, this was sent to me in PR, right? If this wasn't sent to me in PR, I don't think I would have picked up every single eyeshadow. Single eyeshadows for me are kind of like, eh, I don't really gravitate towards them too much, right? I like actual palettes, but I'm always curious about formula. So I think I probably would have made my very own, like at least 12 pan palette, or maybe I would have got six shadows. I probably would have done the mixture between shimmers and multi-chromes. However, since receiving all of them, I will say there were some colors that you know, normally I wouldn't really pay too much attention to, but when I look at them, especially like some of these like burnt orange colors, I'm like, oh shit, you are really fucking pretty. So I have to say, I don't think there are any good photos, even their own photos, <laughs> um, honestly, that really compares to what they look like in person. Granted, the photos that are online from other influencers and the brand, they're pretty, but when you get them in your hands though, it's definitely they are like little galaxies. They are very shiny, very sparkly. The shifts are really, really pretty on these. Like, yeah, like, see, like, even, like, these blues, like, they're so gorgeous. But I'm kind of obsessed with this shade. This one just, ooh, it's so good. It's like a mustard color. It's so goddamn pretty. I'm in love. Anyway, um, I will also make sure to use them in upcoming, like, get ready with me's as well. I didn't film today's eye look. I wish I did because I actually used the green palette. So I used this darker green down here. I used this lime green and then I used this lighter greenish bluish kind of color in the inner corner. And I love my look. It looks adorable. Okay, so I guess we can call this all the multi-chromes because these are literally, well, it's actually maybe like a third of the collection. But whatever, we're going to call it all the multi-chromes because it's all the multi-chromes. Next. The next uh, brand I want to talk about is, oh, uh, what the fuck is going on with Morphe? Okay, so, <laughs> all right, so uh, Morphe is coming out with obviously a giant Morphe palette, whatever. The Ultra Lavender Artistry Palette, 35 pans, 27 bucks. There's a six pace, Six pace, six pace <laughs> face and eye brush set for 38. A make it big plumping lip gloss trio, a glow show radiant pressed highlighter, and a blush balm soft, fo soft focus. Ooh, I can't read today. Soft focus cream blush. Okay, so this is available on Ulta. It actually came out at the end of December, like after Christmas or whatever. It's fine, whatever. It's a standard Morphe palette. It's gonna be under the fucking Morphe square thing, so like whatever, who cares? Let's talk about what the fuck is going on with Morphe. If you haven't heard, if you've been living under a rock. And I only know this because I was on TikTok. Apparently, like, Morphe closed their doors. I don't know why. I have no idea. As I'm recording this, I don't think Morphe has put out any sort of announcement why they're doing this. So if somebody knows more information, please, please, please share your knowledge in the comments below because I'm pretty sure other people want to know too. But I'm going to say fucking shady though like super shady like i've watched so many tiktoks of like these poor girls that are like crying they said oh it's their last day and they're like you know take your shit and go some people got severance some people didn't and i'm like first of all being a retail worker is one of the hardest jobs ever period and the reason for that is, is that you have to deal with the general public general public sucks ass <laughs> they suck ass for days 
and I hate that and I hate having to see people struggle and just try to make a dollar and have to deal with assholes day in day out it's not cool so to have a company literally close its doors and not really give people any notice or any information and it's like okay bye like fuck you bro that's just not cool in my opinion and I think we can all agree on that <laughs> that's just not fucking cool not to say that I was like you know an avid Morphe buyer or anything like that but it makes me really side eye the brand even more I mean they've had some weird shady shit in the past I mean, whatever, like we, I literally can make a, an hour video talking about all like the weird stuff Morphe has done, you know, but I think this one is just more of like, oh, this is just, this is not cool. Like this is just fucked up beyond repair at this point. So for those that did work in the Morphe store that are watching this video, I am sorry. I am so sorry that you have to go through that, especially like right after Christmas. That is fucking wild, wild to have to go through finding a new job, especially at the height of new year. I'm so sorry that you're going through that. And Morphe, shame on you. Like, that is so fucking, it's so annoying and wild and it aggravates the hell out of me because it's just, you do not shit on the people that work for you. You do not shit on the people that help you make money. You know what I mean? Like, you take care of them. Ah, uh, when I know that about a brand, it just makes me like not want to fuck with them even more. So yeah. Morphe, you can literally eat my ass, I don't care. I just feel bad for the workers that are now collateral damage for whatever the fuck is going on. I'm assuming that their numbers are probably really bad and this was probably their way of like trying to save face and probably try to turn back into like an e-commerce shit or whatever. That's what I'm assuming is gonna happen. I don't know. Yeah, there needs to be more transparency, clearly. And uh, let me see, let me just make sure I haven't seen anything. Oh, that's fucking weird. So the last time Morphe even posted anything was like October? December 1st. Hold on, let's go to morphe.com. So far, nothing. Nothing about the website, about anything. So fucking wild. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. If you know anything more, please let us know in the comments down below. But fuck me. Mm -mm. Next. Okay, another thing that I already have. <laughs> what can I say? Mama's been busy. Uh, but this one, when I saw it, I knew I couldn't pass it up because I really like uh, Glow Recipe and I just love the avocado ceramide serum. And so when I saw that they came out with a moisture barrier cleanser, I literally a pig and shit. And so far, so good. I've been enjoying it and um, I'll let you know in a future video how I'm still loving it, but uh, so far, so good. So this retails for $28. This is a hydrating milky lotion to foam cleanser. It's Skin barrier strengthening cleanser packed with ceramides and pre and postbiotics to balance the skin's moisture barrier while effectively removing makeup. Like I said, so far so good. And yeah, it's just been wonderful. Listen, I love cleansers. If you could see my bathroom, I have all kinds of different shit everywhere. And it's like, depending on the day, I use this or I do this. And I just, I love my skincare routine. It's so complicated. Alex was watching me do it the other night and he was like, are you trying to impress me? Like, he's like, why do you have so many things? And I'm like, no bitch, this is just an every day for me. <laughs> How do you think I keep looking young? <laughs> Where people think I'm in my 20s, which by the way, thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, but no, like I really, really try to make it a point to take care of my skin and blah, blah, blah. When I find things that work for me, it's like a huge deal because if you would see the, the amount of shit that I have purchased that just ugh, did not work, it's annoying. But like I said, so far so good. I'm excited about this one and uh, I will leave it in an update at the end of the month. But um, yeah, it's good. I like it so far. <laughs> so I guess we can call this skincare, even more skincare. Yep, we call this even more skincare. I'm gonna keep on on keeping on. All right, my little lambs, there you have it. Those are all the uh, makeup products because we hit motherfucking bingo. That was weird. <laughs> Let's do that one more time. <laughs> Oh my God, I need to go lay down. I need to order food, but then I need to go lay down. Um, <laughs> wow, I said welcome to bingo. Ew. What gear is it? Child, child, it's St. Crispin's Day. All right, I need to stop. Okay, so <laughs> I got bingo. 
I got bingo, um, but I would love to hear from y'all. Let me know down below. What do you think about the products that we talked about this week? Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Let me know. I love hearing from you. And of course, definitely go check out Imperfectly M and Audra at Home. And tell them I said hi. I love you, baby. <laughs> and with that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and to my YouTube and Patreon members. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious garbage boat. Garbage boat. Garbage boat. Wow. Garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do it without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces. I just want to gobble you all up. And I just want like you, you know, to love me. And I want to love you back. And, and, and I just want to hold you in my big old arms. I'm like, what is, this? I'm going to shut up. <laughs> but basically I love you. And thank you so much for just all your love and support. Your little baby starfishes that I just want to hold. Okay, that's not creepy at all. If you want to know what's currently on my face, everything you need to know will be listed in the description box down below. I'm going to just go lay down. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> bye.